Just got to make it work for you, man. Make it work. Lunch there of, I don't know what we got, 12 spotty bananas. Went in the supermarket and I was going to buy a tub of hummus and then go to a local uh, like bakery and get some nice bread because that's what I was feeling. But then like, I don't know, something clicked inside me within like a second. I thought, no, I want some bananas. And as luck would have it, they had 10 or 12 packs of bananas on discount because they were too ripe. They were too spotty. And there was a woman next to me. She was shopping for the... Uh, she was shopping for the green ones. She wanted the green tips. The green tip bananas. The ones that sort of stick to your teeth and don't taste right. Just peddling more straight in there. Spotty bananas. So, people can just make up excuses. They can do exactly what they want. Fine by me. But, no drink. No drugs. No smoking. No burning a car around like I used to. So no fuel. And, uh, yeah, it can work out a little expensive sometimes if you're getting through lots of fruit and you start going into all the, uh, the shit you don't need and things like that, all the bullshit. But bananas and rice, a few salads here and there. I ain't spending that much money. And uh, I'm slowly, uh, and I say slowly because uh, things can take time, getting good health back and uh, starting to feel really good. Um, from what I've been doing over the past two years, I haven't really been uh, touching much because I've been slipping off here and there and I haven't been hardcore 80, 10, 10 or anything like that. So uh, you can eat pretty cheap, man. You can eat pretty cheap. Save, save money, and uh, eat healthy. I was going to say something else, I forgot what it was now. Some pun or quote or something. I don't know, never mind. But yeah, health, wealth, whatever. If you're wealthy, you can't buy health. I'd sooner be healthy just with a few pennies to my name, man, and be able to enjoy things. Because what is around you is, it is pretty much, that is what it is. Um, so life's just so full of synthetics and artificial uh, drama now really it's amazing isn't it how uh, all the propaganda and stuff on the news you know I know this is like cliche thing or whatever but and people are all up in arms about things yet they, the shit the other, the other things they watch on TV like the soap operas and all the other drama is the same as the actual real you know reality um, For me at the moment, I like cycling, I really want to get into running more, just eating good food, enjoying the sun like I am today, or enjoying whatever season it is, man. Um, but again, some people are just so caught up in a bullshit, really. Um, I just get really frustrated, I've just been starting to read the China study, I've read like the introduction. And obviously I can see where it's going because um, so many people have talked about the China study. And uh, whether you say it's common sense or just fact or whatever honest truth. Um, I just There's just so many people that don't even know about this. So hence that's why I started my channel and also wanted people to watch me, me grow, lose weight and get fit as a as a person who I am. Um, someone said to me the other day about I should take my piercings out, etc, etc. But, um, no. I mean, it, it, is there a certain look on this lifestyle? Is there a certain way people should look? Or... Or whatever. This is me. It just goes to show that anybody um, can sort of... I'm not saying better themselves. I'm not saying I'm better than anyone else. But have a go at something and start to feel more happier than where they, from where they came from. Um, the person with piercings and tattoos and someone just like me really um, and I think it's good for a person like me to, to be on YouTube for people to see I know a lot of people might be surprised um, should I say the way I've changed I guess I guess I'm still me though I still like to uh, 
piss around and at the fall, but not all the time. That's not that's not really me. Um, people might see that sometimes and think that's that's the sort of person I am. But no. So yeah, back to the piercings and tattoos. Yeah, I mean maybe. Who knows what's going to happen to me? Who knows what's going to happen? Maybe in two or three year time, I'll be like some raw food chef in an unknown restaurant or something. That's the way I look at it. I think that's pretty cool. Shout out to Chef Be Live. I like you, man. You're good. You're cool, man. That's, well, I'll always like your Facebook updates and stuff. And uh, would I take my piercings out and cover my tattoos up and make myself look uh, fitting in with everything because of something like that? No, because it doesn't matter. People see me on here doing what I'm doing, and they might have piercings and tattoos and think, like, you know, it just makes it more open, I think, because a lot of these raw food people, they all look like Jesus, don't they? <laughs> Only joking. <clears throat> Man is sweltering today, drinking the water, eating the nanas. Yeah, nothing else to say, really. Spotty nanas to whatever, whatever, man. Anyway, hope everyone's good. Take care. Hope everyone's uh, enjoying my channel. It, it can only grow. Um, thanks to my new subscribers. Um, check out some of my older vids and things. Um, and maybe that'll inspire you to uh, eat some tomatoes or something. Um, come, yeah, questions and comments always welcome. Like, share, subscribe. And uh, see everybody soon. Cheers.